Good morning. So this week is my first week back at work full time, which for me is four days a week. I worked a four day work week before I got pregnant and I took maternity leave, went back part time and have slowly been building back my hours. And today is that week. And I planned to vlog this week, like a working week of like how I filled my first full time week back. And then my baby slash toddler, still in that transition period, decided to get a temperature and be ill. So today Dan is at work because he had some stuff that he couldn't move. He's like working outside of London today. So I'm on <laughs> parenting duty with this child who's very snotty and trying to grab the camera. I'm still gonna vlog this week, but who knows? This, I guess, has now just turned into like a realistic look at working and parenting. There are two things that I have to get done today, ideally during his nap, and he's now just chucking things on the floor. And that is the voice note for my newsletter that goes out tomorrow. So my assistant is putting together everything that I wrote, which I've already done, did that last week. But then once it's all finalized, oh, hello, then I need to like record myself speaking it. So there's an audio as well. More things just being chucked on the floor. And then the other thing is some video feedback for the video that is going out on more Hannah this week. So it's like a tight turnaround. So I know I'm sorry, Baba. Okay, right. Well, here we go. That's the intro to this vlog done and I'll see you soon. The baby is down for a nap. I'm trying to get through to the doctors just because of some other stuff going on and then this as well. Just wanna check some things. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get through to the doctors and I'm gonna try and do my two bits and hope that I get all of that done before he wakes up. Normally, I would get like at least an hour out of him, but he's ill, so who knows? <sighs> chaos, absolute chaos. standing up like this finishing off the video feedback but i did it and i'm very sweaty she like almost woke up like when i was just a few minutes towards the end of the video but managed to keep him asleep right that's me done until dan gets home and then i'll do a little bit more work baby is not feeling well Okay, Dan is back, looking after the baby. My granny is also here. I have run away for five minutes to record the audio version of my newsletter, which goes out tomorrow. Cutting it close. So let's do that. Okay, my career crisis toolkit. I've had lots of ups and downs over my career, and these are some activities that have helped me when I'm stuck to gain clarity about what it is I want. Hi there. So this post started out as a pity piece. start to this first week back of working full time. I'm gonna go see how the baby and Dan are doing and maybe once my granny has left we can figure out if either of us like have any urgent work that we need to do. But I'm good. There's work that I would like to do and would make my life easier for the rest of the week but nothing urgent. So that's good. We can focus on making this baby feel better. Good morning. Dan is off work today and is looking after Rowan and 
and I'm heading to the studio to do some filming. I'll probably go back home this afternoon to be around to feed Rowan because you know when they're feeling ill it's always nice to have a little boob in the mouth yum yum yum. <laughs> so yeah to be honest I already like mentally checked out of like moving all of my non-urgent stuff to like later in the month and so now I'm like okay how best to spend this time and actually I'd rather spend it with Rowan and Dan especially because today is like a really nice sunny day and if I am on Rowan duty which I might be still tomorrow it's gonna be pissing it down and trying to look after a sick baby when it's raining outside is just so difficult and so I kind of want the easier job of looking after him today ah, can't win you cannot win anyway filming time all right I've made it to the studio got some boobs got a dildo some vulvas excellent we have one video to film this morning and then because of having to move a lot of stuff around Mia and I Mia is here hello I'm gonna have a big like YouTube planning meeting tomorrow but now we're just gonna do it straight after filming to try and pack everything in whilst Dan is looking after the child in case can't go to his childminders tomorrow fingers crossed he can okay filming time <laughs> personal sexual and relationship satisfaction and my voice is croaky <clears throat> finished filming now it's thumbnail time and this is <laughs> what it looks like behind the scenes it's ridiculous okay let's do it Hello. Hello. We just did some video planning. The notion spreadsheets are in order. My brain hurts. Well, this hurts my brain. Does it hurt your brain doing this? Yeah. I think especially after straight after filming or doing something, we're always yeah. a bit slow. Yeah. It's just like, wait, more video <laughs> ideas? Wait, what? <laughs> what is going on? But Dan has informed me that Rowan is asleep and you're going to go watch the England game. I'm going to probably meet Dan and Rowan at the pub for lunch and they'll probably be playing nice. the England game. Go Lionesses. Yeah. <laughs> no more injuries. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll see what the afternoon holds for work slash parenting. I do have things I need to do, but it's hard, you know, when your husband and your baby are home and it's a sunny day. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Big distractions. I know, it really is. <laughs> All right. We'll see. The day continues. Mm -hmm. Mia has headed off. I am cracking on with some admin bits before I am reunited with my family. So yeah, emails and other boring things like that. What fun. Dan's got Rowan in the other room and I'm gonna try and get a bit of work done. I'm feeling very mentally <laughs> checked out. So hopefully I'll get a little bit done. I have an idea in mind of like the bare minimum and then we'll just go from there because trying to work around a baby, even if there is another parent around, is very distracting in a bad way and also in a good way. And they're like, stop distracting me, but also like, I wanna play. <laughs> so let's see what we could accomplish. Good morning, welcome to summer in London and Wednesday, which used to be my day off Rowan and now is part of my working week and Rowan is feeling better and it's gonna be at his childminders today. So I've got a full day of work and an even longer day actually because I've got a podcast recording later this afternoon over the time that I would normally be picking Rowan up. So Dan's picking Rowan up today. I've got a long day of work. I have got lots <laughs> to be catching up on this morning that I haven't been able to do over the last couple of days. Oh God, buggy, buggy issues. Her mom, buggy, there we go. So yeah, I will see you inside while my lens gets ruined. Hey. 
<clears throat> all right, all righty. So on the to-do list today is prep for a video that we're filming next week. I've got some Patreon stuff that I need to do relating to a special offer and this month's like reading list of articles and podcasts and videos and stuff that I've watched and read and etc. etc. Put that together. That's non-urgent though. Normally I'd do that next week, but if I have time today, then I'll do that. But the main thing that is like the big task today that I need to get started on is prepping for this workshop that I'm going to be doing at Shambhala Festival at the end of the month, all about sex and intimacy after you have a baby. So the people at Pinky Promise reached out to me about doing this workshop and I've never done anything like this before. I've done an in-person talk about intimacy and sex after having a baby. I've done videos about it, but this is an entirely different vibe because it's at a festival and it's gonna have to be like more workshoppy because there's no computer, no slides and yeah, who knows, who knows? I feel like I have to plan for like there being 10 people in the tent who are all like fast asleep or there being like 50 people to 100 people in the tent who are just escaping rain and are like what's going on here so bit of a challenge but I like a challenge and yeah I said yes to it because I was like this is new and I'm just gonna say yes and deal with the consequences of figuring out what the hell I'm gonna do about it later and so now is later and I need to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do for this workshop we shall I'll see. Yeah, so that's my main task. That's the main thing. And then all these other little bits that I need to catch up on and do. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> but it feels weird that I'm gonna have a full day in the studio. It's been ages since I've done one of these. I do them so rarely these days, but I figured change of scenery, get focused. <laughs> here for an hour doing other work and not the festival workshop work and I am saying this out loud now to acknowledge that I have procrastinated and to be like start now. <laughs> ah! I hate big things like this. I know that once I start it'll be fine it's just like a very daunting blank page except it's not a blank page because I have the content like I know this topic I just need to figure out the format and the package and different ways of doing it I need like two or three different versions of this workshop in my back pocket depending on the situation we find ourselves in on the day what fun Oh wait, there it is. It's done! I did it! I actually got way more done than I was expecting. I have a whole outline. Can you see my table? My beautiful, beautiful table. A whole outline. The talk is one hour. Workshop slash one hour. I've got a list of all the different things that I want to do. Rough timings. And basically now the next step, the next time I work on this, I've got a few different bits of like content bits to fill out just to make sure I'm like hitting the right stuff. And then then I want to kind of like run through my talky bits because there's a lot of like group activity moments but I just want to like run through transitions. Basically rehearse. I need to rehearse. But yeah. <laughs> And it is da, 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 10 to 12, so basically lunchtime. Yay! I'm feeling good. Okay, so I've had lunch and I've just finished pumping. And can you hear that noise in the background? I just closed the windows to see what it sounds like with the windows closed. But essentially, the office building that my studio is in, right next to it, slash basically attached to it, is a building site. It's a construction site. They're building more offices and residential homes and all sorts of stuff. And I have a podcast recording <laughs> that we need to do in a couple of hours. And it's with somebody who has got a really tight schedule and we've already rearranged this one once before. And this is not making me feel very relaxed about how my audio is going to sound. This is what it sounds like with the windows open. One sec, let's put my bra back on. Windows closed. Windows open. And guess what? These noisy works are happening for the next few months and we are recording podcasts for the next few months. And filming videos, we're doing, we're doing it all. I don't come in here very often. I literally only use this space to film videos and record podcasts. The one thing I need this place to be is quiet. Uh, <laughs> fuck!
Well, my noise cancelling headphones are helping me personally deal with the noise, um, but I'm just gonna do some audio tests. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh. This is the loudest it's been. I've been warned about the construction noise, but this hasn't affected me yet, and now it's affecting me. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm gonna do all summer, slash for the rest of this year, <laughs> with all the filming and recording we need to do. So annoyed. Okay, right. Let's do this test, see what, what it sounds like. Testing, testing, talking about sex on my podcast. And and how does this sound? Can you hear the construction noise in the background or is my microphone that good that it doesn't pick it up? I've closed the windows, I've closed the thick ass curtain. Please, dear God, let this work. It's just like a faint, constant drilling sound. You can probably hear now. Fuck me, it's so loud. No! I just wanna give up. I'm just going to hide in my noise canceling headphones and cry. Okay, I've tried coming to a different part of the building to listen to that audio test to see if it's not just me like faintly hearing the actual sound in the background, but it's almost impossible to avoid in this building. But let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Can I even listen to this on my phone? Am I gonna have to go back up and open this goddamn file? I wanna listen. I don't know where noises are coming from. I think it might be fine. Like, there's definitely something there in the background, but the mic is good enough that it's just like, it is so in the background. I have to like really concentrate to hear it. I mean, what can I do? What can I actually do? Nothing. So do I bother stressing about it? I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do for filming. <sighs> Our audio editor said that she can work with it. It is not ideal. This is especially not ideal for any like filming we're gonna be doing in the future. What can you do? But I've done my Patreon reading list. That is done. And I've got our podcast recording in like half an hour. So it's time to pee, it's time to refill water, and it's time to like tidy up any admin bits. As soon as we're done recording this, I'm heading straight home. So I just want to make sure that everything else is as tidy as possible and then, then focus in on recording. What fun. What fun. <sighs> just trying out a new angle of having my computer and my camera so that this is the background for podcast recording. I mean, this is only going on social media, but still it's better than having... <laughs> that in the background. Oh my God, I didn't notice it in that last clip, but the construction noise is gone. Oh my God, it is gone. We're about to start recording in like a few minutes and it better not start up again like mid recording because that would be the worst thing because then the sound won't be consistent. We need the sound to be consistent, but I just need to, I just need to decompress. I need to complete my stress cycle, not just in terms of like the thing that was stressing me stopping, but I need the stress itself to leave my body. So um, bear with me. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. That's done. Time to record a podcast. Podcast recording all done. Now I'm just pumping and then gonna head home. I am desperate for a wee and I'm starving. And I miss my baby, I wanna see him. Productive day in the end and lots of ups and downs, an emotional roller coaster. Tomorrow, maybe a bit more chill, hopefully. Who knows, we'll be working from home tomorrow. <sighs> right. <laughs> Close the window. Good morning. This week is continuing to be an emotional roller coaster where a lot of things go wrong that are out of my control and we're just having to deal with a lot of stuff. As you can maybe hear, the construction is still happening, but also I'm in my studio and I said that I would be working from home today. What's going on, Hannah? Well, let me tell you. I was about to leave the flat to take Rowan to his childminders and then I was gonna come back home and work. And my keys were gone. What happened? Where are my keys? Well, my husband took them to work with him accidentally. So Dan is at work with two sets of keys and I am without any sets of keys. Oh! 
it's fine, it's fine. This has happened once before. Dan is very sorry, he says he's an idiot. So basically I was like, okay, it's fine. There isn't actually anything I need to get done at home specifically in terms of work. So I'll come and work from the studio today. So I had to quickly like pack a bag with my pump and everything that I needed to be able to like work from here and then leave. And Dan is just gonna have to leave work early today. He took my keys, he has to leave work early and be home to let us in when I go pick up Rowan. So that is all fine. But then I realized that I had put a wash on in the morning that I was then going to unload and hang up when I got back home because Rowan and I are going away for the weekend tomorrow to Manchester to visit my parents and my family. We need clean clothes. So I'd put on a grown up wash this morning and then I was gonna get back, unload that and then put on a Rowan wash. So now there's just a wet pile of clothes sitting in our washing machine all day. And Dan was just like, I'll come back now. And I was like, don't be fucking ridiculous. That's so much time spent on the tube. And we've already like not worked loads this week because of Rowan being ill. So I was like, no, 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 it's fine. So what we're gonna do instead is Dan's just gonna hang up those clothes as soon as he gets in. And we're just gonna pray to whatever laundry god that they are dry on time before packing in the morning. Probably not. And I'm just gonna pack dirty Rowan clothes and wash them on my parents. <sighs> but here's the other thing. After leaving, because I was so frazzled by everything that was happening, and I was trying to pack and trying to get like Rowan out of the door, I then realized, Hannah, you fucking idiot. What I should have just done is taken our spare keys, because we do have spare keys, and then just asked one of our neighbors to let me in the building. Cause the only spare keys that we don't have is the fob to the block of flats that we live in. So if just one of my neighbors had just let me in the building and I could have gotten back in the flat, I closed the door on me before I thought about that. So now we're here and yeah, that noise is stopped. I almost cried on the way to dropping off Rowan. It sounds so ridiculous to cry over laundry and packing and keys, but this week has been a week of just unpredictable stuff. And that's life. But on the work agenda today, so we're here now and we're just gonna have to make do with this situation. Now I can do now. One thing I am gonna do though, is get another set of keys cut and keep them at the studio. And I'm also going to replace my key ring to be a really brightly colored key ring so Dan doesn't get our keys mixed up. That's my other plan. Anyway, first thing I've got on this morning is a meeting with my accountant to go through the last year's like financial year stuff and just like chat about where that is at and how much tax do I owe and all of that fun stuff. And then after that, it is basically a day of working on the podcast. We've done three recordings so far. And so I need to like start looking through the transcript bits and me has gone through and like picked out some of the best parts that we want to use in the episode. So I'm gonna like go through all of that and like leave my thoughts and see what's going on. So I need to do that for the first episode. And then also some video planning because I asked on my Instagram stories the other day to see what people wanted to hear about in video form. And so I'm gonna go through that, see if anything sparks joy, sparks interest and intrigue and do some video planning slash research slash inspiration findings. That kind of thing is really vague because it could just be like looking at YouTube. Who knows? Who knows how long that'll take or what that is. You just kind of have to like give that kind of task time to breathe sometimes. Right. Let's get on with it. I feel like I need to do another stress release thing. I did a lot of screaming this morning. There was a lot of swearing and there was a lot of... Well, that actually felt good. Take a deep breath. That'll also be good. Okay, let's crack on. Accountants meeting all done. This is one part of like the being a creator, being a freelancer, small business owner that like always happens in the background. And I know so many other creators and freelancers who just ignore it or like just don't think about it or put time into understanding it. And of course, I'm not an expert. I am not accountant at all, but I've really tried so hard to like understand the bare minimum so that when I have these meetings, when I have these catch-ups, I'm like keeping up with like 
what that number means and what that number means and like all of it because oh my god it's so confusing but if you are a freelancer or a small business owner and you know you have an accountant and you know that money and tax stuff is just like all a part of what you do understand the bare minimum understand enough that you would be able to explain it to a friend that's the level of understanding that I've tried to, to get to myself and oh my god it makes things so much easier when it comes to the money the finances and the tax side of this job, which is the most unsexy part of it. <laughs> but it really helps to be able to understand what your accountant is telling you. But now we actually got a video edit in from my editor early. So I was gonna look at it on Monday, but I've got some time. And so I'm gonna look at it now so we can get ahead in the video schedule. Ooh, 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 we love it. Okay, video feedback time. <laughs> It's 11.30 and I'm already hungry, <laughs> but I'm going to make a start on these video ideas and like video research and all of that. And then I'm gonna have some lunch. So I'm gonna go through all of the responses that I got on Instagram and just pull out any. I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And hopefully I'll be able to go through all of them. And then after lunch, I'll be able to like dive a little deeper into exploring some of those themes and topics and like figuring out where we have room on the schedule for stuff. Cause there's a schedule. <laughs> I love my schedules, but I'm very hungry, but I would like to try and make it till midday until I eat lunch. <laughs> So I've had lunch and I have pumped and I maybe spent a bit too much time watching YouTube videos because it is now almost half one. And basically in my working week, even before starting the four days, Thursdays was always my last day because Fridays is my day off, my day with Rowan. And so Thursday afternoons to me mentally feel like a Friday afternoon, like mentally feeling, oh, we're almost at the end of the week. Like, is there really any point in doing anything? Like what gets done on a Friday, AKA a Thursday? <laughs> afternoon but there is stuff that still needs to get done and I like to make sure that kind of all the ducks are in a row like all of the things are ticked off before the weekend so that I'm not stressing or thinking about work on the weekend especially this weekend because I'm going to be in Manchester without my laptop so if anything comes up it's just like I'll see what I can do on my phone but usually it's all good. So on the to-do list this afternoon, I have written my big list of video ideas from people's suggestions on Instagram and I separated it into just like a dump of list of ideas and topics. And then also like some people suggested like guests and people to collaborate with. And so I've got like that as a separate list. And as I was going through it, I then had like a video ideas section. So if a topic or something that somebody said like sparked it like, ooh, that would be a good video. Kind of more figuring out how to package it as a YouTube video. Cause it's all well and good having like a list of topics that you want to cover, but it's very annoying feeling like you have to play the YouTube game and just be like, okay, but then what's the angle? What's the hook? What's the title? And all of that stuff. So now I'm gonna go through that initial ideas dump list and like officially sort it into our like database of video ideas so that the next time me and Mia sit down to be like, right, what do we wanna focus on making next? It's all there. The favorite ones, like the ones that I'm like, mm, this one is good, this one is, sparking joy, they're easy to find basically. But I don't wanna to spend too much time on that because then I need to start going through the podcast transcripts and start actually, you know, creating and putting together this first podcast episode. So that'll be fun. I wanna definitely go through at least one of the interviews, hopefully two. And then I've got time Monday morning to go through more before our meeting in the afternoon. So that task is a bit big one that has smaller parts in it. And as long as I make a good start on it and like get a chunk out of that, then I'm happy. And then at four o'clock, I've got a more Hannah video going live. 
and I like to be all done pretty much with work by four, especially on a video upload day. So then at four o'clock, I'll make this video live, promote it on social media, pump, and then that's when it's like tying up loose ends of like just making sure any emails that need replying to have been replied to, any like all of those like weird little bitty tasks that sometimes you might need to do. And then 4.30, I'm out of here to go get Rowan. Is this interesting? <laughs> oh, she's having a crisis. Okay, let's get to work. Hello. My desk is a standing desk and I very rarely actually use it as such, but that's mostly because I'm rarely here. But as I've been sat on my ass in here for the last day and a half, I figured we should stand up. I finished all my work. It is one minute to four, so I need to get ready to post that video. Sometimes I'm prepared, like at 10 to four, I'm like ready to go. I've downloaded like the thumbnail and the GIFs and stuff so I can post them on Instagram. Other times it's like, yeah, just turned four o'clock and I'm like, ah, shit, need to do that. All right, let's make this video live. Dun, dun, dun. Right, video's live and now I need to find the bits brain stop working. Video exports, monthly vlog, give me the social media promo content. <sighs> what am I doing? Get the link! Instagram. Watch here. You video! Yeah, this is how we do it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that is all done. So now I tick that off my list and in Notion, I mark that video as done. And now she pumps and checks the comments, checks her emails and maybe watches some YouTube videos and generally has a calm end to the day as much as possible so that I feel chill and in control of everything before my weekend begins. That's how we do it. All right, I am on my way to go and pick up Rowan, which means it is the end of my working week and the end of my first week back doing four days. Although, was it really? Because at the beginning of the week, we had an ill baby and we had other unexpected things thrown at us, like um, being locked out of the flat and noisy construction works. So it's been an interesting week this week being back at work. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this little work vlog and insight into to kind of how I fill my days in terms of what I get up to. I think I'm really going to like having this extra day of work. We've got the big podcast project this second half of the year and I just knew that with the time that I was currently working with, everything just felt so tight and so cramped and adding in this huge project, I was like, I cannot do this on the current schedule. I'm gonna need more work time, hence why adding in this extra day. But when I look at like my next couple of weeks of work, when I look at my calendar and and all of the tasks that I need to do. My weeks actually like look empty, like on the calendar visually, but that's basically because if I was only working three days, they would look insane. They would look just too full and it would stress me out and it would look impossible. It's like, it would not be possible. But having this extra day, having this extra bunch of hours has helped manage all of those tasks. So looking at my calendar for the next couple of weeks, just feels a lot more calm and a lot more manageable. And I'm sure eventually that 
extra like wiggle room time that is there will get filled and I'll be feeling stressed again but for now I'm just going to enjoy a few of those blank spaces in the diary that I can see. Just before I left the studio as well my editor sent in the second edit of that video feedback that I'd done it in the morning which amazing and so I managed to have a chance to look at that so that feels really good that that's not going to just be sitting there over the weekend like that is done I can tick that off as well but yeah there we go hope you enjoyed this work week vlog and let me know if you want more things like this if you like kind of seeing the like broken down days of like what I'm up to and stuff and I'll see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>